Hey everybody, it's AJ for Disney Food Blog, and today we have a really fun video for you. Reasons why your next Disney trip will be awesome. You're saying to me, AJ, my next Disney trip is gonna be awesome because it's gonna be a Disney trip. True, true, it is gonna be awesome. But we've got a few things that we've collected here that may be new to you on this upcoming Disney trip. If you haven't been for a week, a couple months, maybe a year, we've got some new things that are happening at Disney we wanna tell you about that we think are gonna make your trip pretty awesome if you include some of them. So first up, this is one that's a little under the radar and we always like to bring your attention to some food items or experiences that are a little bit under the radar that you might not see mentioned other places or talked about in general, but that are great and that you definitely have to do. This one I love, they've got bubble waffles over there at Aristocrapes and that is over in Disney Springs. It's a little tiny kiosk, they don't have too much on the menu, but they do have these incredible bubble waffles which are really trendy right now. These are giant waffles with big kind of air pocket bubble in them, that's why they're called bubble waffles. They look like giant waffle bubble wrap, basically. And inside they've got sweet, tart, fabulous ingredients. My, my favorite is the salted caramel bubble waffle with ice cream, salted caramel sauce, chocolate sauce, and chocolate covered pretzels. So lots of sweet, salty going on with this particular bubble waffle, but it's as big as your head. It's giant, definitely shareable with, a, with up to four people probably, I think it's huge. It's over at Aristocrat. Crepes. Remember, Arista Crepes doesn't open till 4 p.m. on weekdays, so just a heads up for that. So if you're going to go on a weekday, plan to get there after 4 p.m., but really, really good, delicious, and definitely under the radar. Another reason why your trip is going to be awesome this time, you can get your picture taken with Chewbacca. Who doesn't want to get their picture taken with a giant Wookiee, right? And you can do it over at Hollywood Studios right now. Chewbacca is there for your pictures. Be sure to check the Times Guide to see when he's available. But if he's not, there's going to be other Star Wars characters available for pictures as well. And I think that this one is an opportunity or an experience that a lot of people don't necessarily know about because it's sort of hidden back there in Launch Bay in Hollywood Studios. Not super well advertised, but if you know where to find those characters, you can get your picture taken with them. Next up, you can see your favorite band live. Maybe not your favorite band, but definitely one of your favorite bands. Because <laughs> your favorite band is probably touring and it costs $400 to see them. But one of your favorite bands over at the E to the Beat concert, which is part of the Epcot Food and Wine Festival, they've got some really good bands from the 80s, 90s, and even the 2000s that are there. And this is something they do every year is they bring in these popular bands. And what's great is that it doesn't cost anything extra to see them over and above your Epcot park ticket cost. So this year, brand new coming in, they have Vertical Horizon, Sheila E is new this year, 98 Degrees is coming this year, returning is Boys to Men, which I love seeing them live, they're just so great. Hanson is back again this year, Billy Ocean's back, Kenny G is gonna be there, Postmodern Jukebox is there too. Really good bands, really popular bands from the past kind of 30 years. So if these were any of your your favorites when you were in high school, in college, things like that. It's kind of fun to see them live. Next up, you can do the Disney Food Blog Cupcake Crawl. This is so much fun. We love putting these together for you guys and everybody always asks for them again. We do a cupcake crawl where we kind of highlight several of our favorite cupcakes around the parks and the resorts. And you can absolutely go check that out on the blog. We've got all that information there for you. And I think we do have a PDF as well for you if you want a PDF to take around with you. But you can go indulge in some of the best cupcakes on property with the Disney Food Blog Cupcake Crawl. That's to make your trip really, really awesome. But don't do it all in one day because then you can get really sick. <laughs> Another reason why your next Disney trip is gonna be awesome, you can feel like you are in a movie. If you haven't been there for, you for a few years and you haven't been to Pandora or over to Be Our Guest Restaurant, those are two areas in the parks that they have really gone above and beyond. The Imagineers have made them really feel like you're in the middle of one of your favorite movies. So Be Our Guest Restaurant over in the Magic Kingdom, that's a restaurant, like I said, dining location. And the dining rooms look very much like like what you saw in the Beauty and the Beast film. The animated film, mind you, not the Emma Watson version. <laughs> But to make it even more authentic, there is actually a scene behind the ballroom, dining room, where there's snow coming down outside, and that is actually the animation cells from the movie. They use those to create that snowfall. So you are 
kind of, inside a movie. And then over there at Animal Kingdom, they've got Pandora that opened last year. This is, of course, the planet from the movie Avatar, and it's just incredible just to wander through there, especially at night. Everything is bioluminescent, as they call it, and it glows. So it's an, an incredible place to just sort of walk through and get lost in um, the awesome Imagineering that they've got going on there. So you can definitely feel like you're walking through a movie set or you are in a movie the next time you are in Disney World. Now here's a fun one that some people don't know about, especially if they haven't been to Disney World in a while. You can sleep in a pirate or princess room. There are some specialty, specific, imagineered, themed rooms at some of the Walt Disney World hotels over there at Caribbean Beach Resort. They have pirate rooms, so if you have a little pirate in your party, or I don't know, maybe your husband wants to be a pirate, I don't know, um, you can go to Caribbean Beach Resort and book a pirate room, those are super cool. And if you have a little princess or someone who aspires to be a princess, you can go over to Port Orleans Resort Riverside and sleep in a princess room, which are absolutely gorgeous themed rooms to the Disney princesses. And all your little princesses will love it. And don't forget, there's that Star Wars hotel coming up really soon. That one will open in the next couple of years, and that is going to be themed to the hilt beyond anything we've ever seen before. Another fun thing you'll be able to do on your next trip is eat the boozy beignets. I think we talked about these on the channel one other time, but they are brand new in the past couple of weeks. And the boozy beignets are over there at Port Orleans Resort French Quarter. These are beignets that are served with little pie pets of your choice of alcohol. And you can squirt that alcohol into the beignets and get that little extra added flavor and texture when you have those quintessential Port Orleans, New Orleans beignets. These you're gonna find over at Scat Cat's Lounge in Port Orleans French Quarter. Now here's a relatively new one. You can get a character couture makeover. These were always an option for the kiddos. They could be pirates or princesses, but now adults are able to do this now. You can head to four salons right now that offer the makeover. Ship Shape Salon at Yacht and Beach Club, Ivy Trellis at Grand Floridian, Salon by the Springs at Wilderness Lodge, and La Vida Salon at Coronado Springs. And you can get made over to look like your favorite character, a prince or princess, or anything else. Now, pre Previously, only kids were able to do this, like at Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique or the Pirates League. Now adults can do it too. So prices range anywhere from $50 to $120. So bring your, you know, your princess outfit or your character outfit and get your face and nails to match. Another thing that's going to make your next Disney trip awesome is the fact that now in Disney World, you can try some of the most exclusive and excellent wines in the world by the ounce. So a lot of the wines that are the most popular in the world, the most expensive, the most exclusive are often only available by the bottle. But at Wine Bar George in Disney Springs, they have something called Outstanding by the Ounce. This is a program that lets you order any wine on the menu by the ounce. So you don't have to order three ounces, six ounces, nine ounces. You can order just one ounce of any wine on the Wine Bar George menu. And their Outstanding by the Ounce menu is uh, Sommelier George Mule Yatis has created a list of his favorite wines and what he considers to be the best wines in the world on that particular menu and you can order any of them by the ounce. So by these we're including Chateau Margaux, Harlan Estate, De Torin. There's lots of incredible wines to try that you'd be able to try for the very first time by the ounce, which makes them a lot more affordable than if you have to buy the whole bottle, of course. So we're really impressed with this. This is something that's giving a lot of us access to incredible wines that we've never had access to before. So very, very cool option. Option, definitely head over to Wine Bar George if you're interested in this and try some of the greatest wines in the world by the ounce. Another thing we love that you might be able to do on your next Disney trip to make it awesome is do the Mickey ice cream sandwich cookie hack. We have this on the channel from long time ago. We developed this Disney World food hack, but this is only for those people that are way over the top and way extra, okay? This is for you guys. <laughs> you get two of those Mickey head cookies, chocolate chip cookies. They also have them in peanut butter, I think and then head over and get some ice cream at Plaza Ice Cream Parlor and some melted peanut butter and smoosh it all together and you've got the biggest, most extra, most incredible Mickey ice cream sandwich we've ever seen. We love this hack, it's incredible. Definitely bring friends along though because you're not gonna be able to eat this whole thing by yourself. But I guarantee you will get a lot of looks and a lot of wow, what is that? 
when you do this Disney World food hack for sure. And you can check it out over here on the channel as well. Next thing that's gonna make your next Disney trip awesome is that you can stay entertained while waiting in queue lines now. I love talking about this on the channel because I think it really helps people when they're, when they're there in really busy times not to be stressed out that they're waiting in those lines for those rides is gonna be just the most boring thing ever. There are several lines now, especially in Magic Kingdom, that have fun and entertaining things to do while you're waiting in the queue. Peter Pan has incredible stuff happening in that queue line, almost to the point that I'd rather skip the fast pass and just walk through the queue. Winnie the Pooh has super fun things for the kids to do in the queue line. Mine Train's got cool stuff to do. Dumbo, so there's lots of um, lots of longer queue lines that you're not gonna have to worry too much because there's enough to hold your attention and keep you interested while you're waiting in that line. Definitely a good change, change for the better when it comes to what Disney World's doing in the parks. So there are just a few fun things, additions, that is going to make your next Disney trip awesome because they've changed some stuff around and added some stuff and really plussed up the opportunities over there in Disney. So let us know what you think. Is there anything you're looking forward to doing on your next Disney trip that's gonna make it awesome? Things that you are excited have come in since your last Disney trip. Let us know in the comments and let the other viewers know in the comments. You guys read those comments and you wanna know what's something I can't miss when I'm at Disney World next time. So thanks for listening and thanks for watching. This is AJ for Disney Food Blog and we'll see you real soon.